for 2019, Marlon made some big and in my personal opinion, the best changes in the sled deck industry with the addition of their patent pending integrated LED strip in the rear load bar that features not only running lights, but signal, stop, and reverse. Along with the addition of the wide super glides on the new, stronger, extendable ramp. It's been no exception with changes for the 2020 model line, so today we'll be going over those changes as well as showing you how to set up your new Marlon Explore Pro 2 deck. Marlon is always looking to improve their products, and this year is no different. They're always listening and taking feedback from their dealers as well as customers. So for 2020, Marlon made several small but key changes. This year, they've extended the length of the 8-foot decks by 2 inches to accommodate the thicker tailgates on many of the newer model trucks. So this means that the 8-foot decks now look a little bit better on the 8-foot truck beds and cover the tailgate a little bit better. The next addition was a 45 degree transition on the rear of the decking. Not only does this make for smoother loading of the sled, but looks cleaner as well. On down the line, there are now ramp rung protectors on the middle of the ramps, providing extra traction for sleds with ice studs as well as those without. It even gives you extra traction if you're walking up and down the ramp on those icy and snowy days. So one thing that's actually been eliminated from the 2020 Marlon sled deck options is the wood decking. Since aluminum decking will last much longer than the wood, there's no need to replace it as you would have to with wood decking. Marlon also now offers their Explore Pro 2 decks as either a sled deck or an ATV deck, with the difference being that the ATV deck does not come with super clamps. Of course, the 2020 decks come with all the features that the 2019 and previous years came with, including the wide super glides, four movable tie down points, adjustable legs for different height beds, loading lights in the headache rack as well as the underside, as well as embedded UHMW into the slides to make it easier to slide in and out. And as always, that clean Marlon products look. Now once you've purchased your new Marlon sled deck, it's time to properly set it up and get it connected to your truck to get the lights working. So as you can tell from the deck that's on my truck, this is actually the 8 foot deck in a short bed truck. To accomplish this, the rear legs of the deck actually can be moved inwards to the short bed position. Now you will need to remove the ramp in order to do this. I simply slide it out and then slide it on top of the deck just to make it a little bit easier to get it back in once you're all done. And this is simply done by loosening up four nuts where the leg attaches to the deck. Then removing the four bolts along where the ramp slides in and then lifting up slightly on the deck and pushing back on the leg. Sometimes this may require a second person to help out, but normally when the deck is brand new, it'll slide back pretty easily. And then just replace the four bolts where the ramp slides in and tightening up the nuts where the leg attaches to the deck and you're all set. First thing you want to do is get it properly aligned in the bed. To do this, you want to make sure that the slides are completely pushed in. Then using a tape measure, measure from the bottom of the deck to your bed, making sure to keep the tape level and using the same or similar reference point on the other side. If you don't have a tape measure, just use your finger to get an approximate length. And as long as it's within a quarter to a half an inch, you should be good to go. I always start with getting the front aligned and then work my way to the back, after which I'll hop in the truck and check my mirrors to see if it looks even and adjust if needed. Next is going to be mounting the deck. Temporarily I have mine mounted using turnbuckles. These can be bought at your local hardware store for less than $10 a piece, but it's certainly not a permanent solution to keep your sled deck tied down properly. So once you've got everything aligned and everything adjusted, now it's time to drill the holes to mount the deck to the bed. Now with any new Marlon sled deck, you'll get four feet with adjustable inserts so that you can make sure that the height on your deck fits your bed perfectly. You'll need the supplied hardware from Marlon, including these four square mounting blocks that actually have the threads integrated into them. Unfortunately, I did not have the tools with me the day that I filmed this, so I'll be bolting my deck down at a later date. So what you'll need to do is find a drill bit that's the same size or slightly larger than the supplied bolt that Marlon gives you and using the holes on each of the four feet, drill all your holes, slide your bolts through and using the supplied blocks on the underside, tighten all four bolts down to your bed. And finally, the last step, wiring the deck to the bed. First thing we need to do is remove this zip tie in order to run the harness behind the taillight. Then you'll go ahead and remove the taillight and you'll start fishing the main harness down through the hole in the top of your bed through the bodywork behind the taillight housing. And you'll do the same thing with the reverse wire. Now using a set of wire strippers or just a razor blade, we'll strip the end of the reverse wire. And then using a wire tap connector, we'll splice into the reverse wire on the truck harness. 
and it's up to you if you want to tie up the extra on the reverse wire or if you want to cut it to the exact length so you don't have to tie anything up. I just left mine the length that came from Marlon and tied up the excess. Now reinstall the taillight and we'll move underneath to connect the main harness. Now each truck is going to be different, so you'll need to see what trailer harness you have on your truck. But for mine, I just used a simple four pin Y splitter adapter in order to connect the deck harness to my trailer harness on my truck. Now a friend of mine showed me a much easier solution than doing it this way each time. And that would be by installing a trailer plug socket into the side of the bed and using an adapter, just plugging it into the harness from the sled deck to the adapter to the socket. So when I install one of these on my truck in the future, I'll do a full video on it to show you how to do it on your truck. And of course the last thing to do is hop in your truck and check all your lights. You should have running lights, brake lights, blinkers, as well as that nice, really bright reverse. And just like that, you're all set to go and you've got your deck mounted to your bed and you're ready to go ride. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this gave you a couple extra tips on how to install your new Marlon deck inside your bed. I wanna thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell so you know whenever I upload my next video and we'll see you next time. Thanks. I would also like to give a huge shout out to Blazer Johnson and the rest of the Johnson family at Jet Chevrolet in Federal Way, Washington for letting me film his truck for a few minutes. If you're looking for a new Chevrolet or you're in the market for a Marlon deck in the Washington area, give them a call. They're a Marlon dealer. And no, they did not sponsor this video, but anytime I've interacted with any of them, they've been very great to work with. Whether it's talking about sleds, sled decks, trucks, and everything in between, they're very great people to work with. Mm-hmm. <laughs>